What's up guys, my name is Josh Baines, play guitar for the band Malevolence and this is Sick Riffs. Today we're going to be going through uh, the main riff and the verse riff for our new single Remain Unbeaten. So let's get a pop. <laughs> So, that was the main riff, and then straight into the verse riff uh, for that song. So let's get started. Uh, first things first, we're in drop C tuning. Um, based, the first riff anyway is based around the C minor scale, uh, so. Uh, so, and I use generally not really many chords in this riff, um, not full chords anyway. Um, so it, it goes for more of a uh, open string kind of technique. Just gives it a little bit more of a, uh, like a twangy kind of groovy feel, I think. Um, so let's get into it anyway. Uh, first bit. So you're just gonna go down, open, and then so that's 12 open, 10 open, 7 open. And then you've got this kind of little minor run, 7, 8, 7, 5, 3, 5, 7. And then you slide out of that, back to that root note of C. So. And then we've got the little highlights, as I like to call them. Uh, just to like brighten up the riff a bit, give it a little sprinkle of something different. A little bit more melody in there. So, with your octave chords, um, we're going to start on the G string. Um, so if you don't know how to play the octave chords, uh, if we're on the 8th fret on the G string, then to find your octave, uh, two frets down, two strings down. So 10th fret on your F. So if you play them together, it kind of just gives it a little bit of a fuller tone, like brighter. So we're gonna start there, eight, little open chug in between, and then seven, slide down to five, and then back up, and then back up to eight, and then straight down to five. A little bit confusing, but. So I'm just trying to um, just pick on the beat, really. Like that. So uh, after that, we go straight back to 12, 10, and 7 again. This time, we change it slightly. Uh, it's going to go up. Um, which gets a little bit tricky higher up the neck, I guess, if you're not used to playing up there. Um, but I like the tonality, it gives it it's a little bit more like low end, uh, sort of like um, crowbar influency, which is why we all like in Malevolence. So, uh, but you could, uh, if you wanted to, you could play it there. Or it just doesn't really sound the same, you know? Oh. Yeah. So just like res the notes resonate a lot more, you can get a lot of nice vibrato on it. Yeah, so that's the only reason I prefer to play up there and, and would teach it that way. Um, but yeah, so you're just going 12, and then 12, 14, 15, slide up to 17, back down to 15. And then slide out to open. And then you're back to your octave chords. 
uh, on your G string. So 12 slide to 10, 10 slide to 8, 8 slide to 7 with the chugs in between. Yeah, sweet. So uh, after that, So, same as the first time, uh, only this time my part adds a, a harmony just in thirds over those octave chords. So instead of having 8, 7 and 5, you've now got uh, 12, 10 and 8. So same pattern, same phrase, everything. Bit more major rather than minor this time. Uh, but yeah, that's the only difference. Uh, and then, yeah, the riff repeats round and goes straight into the verse, so. Um, obviously, as you can probably hear, uh, this riff is a lot more based around the pentatonic scale. Uh, still minor, uh, they share a lot, well, basically all the same notes, to be fair. Um, you just get like a little bit more of a sleazy kind of bluesy uh, sort of feel to it, which is cool. I'm all about that blues kind of feel. So, uh, still using the octave chords even on these lower notes. I just feel it gives it a little bit of a different sound rather than just playing the chords. Can't even fucking play it. <laughs> there you go. But, yep. Yeah. So we use the octave chords instead, uh, just gives it a slightly different tone as I said a minute ago. So uh, we're just going to start with the open and then third fret. So you've got uh, both C strings are playing and you're muting the G string in the middle. And you're going to give it a little bend. Quite a quick one towards the end, one that kind of ramps up very quickly at the end. And then a little chug in, two chugs in between. Same shape, fifth fret. So you're gonna pick once, slide up to six from five, back down to five, and then back up to six. And then when you go back down to five, you're gonna hit the uh, strings again with another pick. So you can get that slide down to the third fret, so. And a little lick afterwards. So, yeah, just based around that blues lick as well. Same frets, uh, open three, five, six, three. And then three slide up to five for those chords at the end. Uh, sometimes fun to put a little pinch on that. Up to you. Uh, so that bit of the riff repeats again, and then the second time around we slide up to the 10th fret. So, slide up with your middle finger. Or, oh, well, I suppose you could use your index finger. So you go in with that 10th fret on your low C, on the down pick, and then you catch in the higher uh, octave on your higher C string on the up and then so you've got one open and then ninth fret both at the same time and then two opens palm muted again uh, and then nice like uh, vibrato on the eighth fret slide out to open and then barring uh, 12th fret on C and F you're gonna do 12, 11, and 10 with obviously vibrato on it. Yep, and then the riff just repeats again. First time is the same as the third time. And then the only difference is leading into the breakdown. So it's just chromatic chords, three, two, one. 
Uh, I like to add the, the like, uh, higher fifth. <laughs> Just gives it a little bit more texture, I guess. Um, but that's it. Pretty simple, you know. Not the most uh, technical riffs uh, we've ever made, but fun, fun to play, real groovy. Uh, so I hope you enjoy playing them. Uh, and thanks for anyone who's checked it out already and like supporting the band. It's like uh, means the world to us all. You know what I mean? Um, the tabs for this song and the other ones on the new EP, the other side, uh, will be coming out uh, at the end of this month, I think. Um, so you can find the tabs for this song with these riffs uh, for the the other two songs and you can also buy the other two albums worth of tabs on mlvltd.com uh, so hit that up if you want to if you're interested in learning either my parts or cons parts I tabbed them all out personally so it is exactly how I play it you know what I mean so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the lesson stay tuned peace